Well, Allah, dearest friends everywhere across the globe. Today is the 26th of November, 1921. And the Baha'is all over the world celebrate the Day of the Covenant. Well, there are so many ways to celebrate the Day of the Covenant, but I would like to refer to my very special and never forgetting experiences during my youth in Iran. When these times of the history and the calendar of Baha'i calendar were celebrated with a lot of wonderful friends, of course, receptions and foods and, and visiting and loving and renewing relationship, but also beautiful stories from the history of the faith told for us and to us by some of the teachers, foremost teachers of the faith. I never forget those evenings, nights, days and togetherness. Um, so today I want to share with you something similar in my reflections. I've been reading about stories that in my mind talks about this whole notion of covenant. First of all, covenant to me has many, many, many facets. It's about caring, it's about trust, is about the respect, is about consultation, is about mm, contemplation, is about commitment. There are so many aspects to the covenant and actually very interestingly, I see a lot of facets of the covenant in my garden. So I have a relationship. Covenant is about the relationship. I have a relationship with my garden, with my flowers, with my roses. And when I look at that relationship, I see there is attending, there is caring, there is knowing, knowing that this flower right now is at the height of its beauty. Knowing that when I look at this little branch here, that this little part of the flower needs pruning. And knowing that um, those beautiful lemons up there are ready to be harvested and made into something to serve the friends and the family and the community. So there's a lot of knowing, there's a lot of um, knowledge, volition, wanting to do something with the whole feeling and thought and knowledge of the covenant and action. Action is absolutely necessary. When uh, one of the friends was um, at the uh, presence of Abdul Baha and a whole, whole bunch of friends and Abdul Baha was not very happy that day. It was a difficult day and he asked them to, one of the believers to chant one of the poems of Baha'u'llah and he had a very good voice. So as he got to a point where he was, the, the poem got to a point where he was talking about those who know, Abdul Baha paused everyone and he said, do you know what does that mean? Those who know and those who act based on knowledge. And then he told them that the believers need to pause on the concepts that they read like from hidden words and others, so can they can translate them into action. So this whole notion of action is part of the covenant. So yes, my garden is absolutely a place of a relationship. And that relationship is my covenant with these plants and flowers and fruits, and I need to take care of them. And um, bring both of us, um, to a state of uh, fruition and joy. So the story that I want to share with you in the style of my uh, youth growing up in Iran is about um, a very beloved, beloved believer uh, of Abdu'l-Baha, Haji Agha Muhammad 
علاقه بند یزدی که this, this friend would come and visit Abu Baha and um, he, would bring, he would bring great joy to the heart of Abu Baha so in one of his uh, visits he heard that Abu Baha has um, has a broken heart has, his heart is very heavy because of the behavior of some of the people around him and as a result of that one of the activities that he loves always to do which is going to the public bath and getting a nice scrub and this was generally a social um, uh, part to it you would see a lot of people uh, in the vat and bathhouse those of you who have been to holy land and Akka and visited the public bathhouse um, in recent years, it has turned into a sort of a museum. I don't know if I like it that much, but um, the first time I visited was 1968. And the bathhouse was kept in its original form and it reminded me so much of the bathhouses that we had in Iran when we were growing up. And it was a social activity, actually. We would pack up a whole picnic and um, um, whole family together and um, food and everything like that and it was a whole day event uh, we would go to the bathhouse and um, the norm was there was a special place that you would uh, take your clothes off and um, uh, for men especially they would wrap themselves with some sort, sort of a longi around their waist down and uh, then they move from this room, which be, where is you take your clothes and put your dry clothes in there, and later on you come back and um, put your clothes on. You go into the um, huge hall, which is steamed and warm and has um, benches made into the, um, um, almost the, the building. Um, just um, you sit there and then the attendant will come and uh, everybody probably will have their favorite attendant. Uh, in the case of women, there was a woman attendant who would come and uh, he had, she had the job of scrubbing and uh, uh, rubbing our skins completely with this rough cloth to make us really clean. And sometimes she was a little bit rough and we would complain and she would say, oh, you know what they say, kill me and make me beautiful, kill me and make me beautiful. But it was a we would come out refreshed, our skin fresh and our face glowing and um, really feeling like a wow, you went to a spa, basically. So Abdu'l-Bahá was so heartbroken, he did not want to go anymore to the public uh, bathhouse and the friends, they knew how much he really, through the years, really enjoyed this very Persian traditional activity and now he had refrained from going. So they, the friend got together. They couldn't see their master sad um, and they wanted to do everything possible to bring joy to his heart. So they consulted. So that part of the covenant is caring. Part of the covenant is knowing, noticing that Abdul Baha was not happy. Part of the covenant is planning what to do about it. So they consulted together and they found that Janaba um, Haji Aqa Muhammad Al-Aqabanda Yazdi, because he had such a special place in the heart of Abu Baha, they, and he was a very um, humorous uh, person, believer, they thought that he would be the best candidate to come up with an idea and they can decide what to do. So uh, Haji uh, Aqa Muhammad came up with the idea of going and buying uh, these um, rough cloth scrubs that you wear on your hand in order to scrub the, the person in the bathhouse. And um, he bought some of that, these tools, and he <laughs> told everybody this is what he's planning to do. He's going to go by the room of Abu Baha and he's going to walk back and forth and he's going to 
pretend he's the peddler and he's selling these <laughs> items <laughs> and see what Abdul Baha would do. So that, that's what he did. He, go, he, he went and he started um, very loudly um, announcing what he has to sell. Well, of course, <laughs> um, Abdul Baha heard him and he walked out of his room and he was smiling and he was looking at him and says, yes, 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 I understand, I understand. I will go to the bathhouse, but on one condition. And Haji Muhammad looked at Abu Baha and Abu Baha says, on the condition that you would also come with me. As I mentioned, this whole notion is about relationship. So uh, on that note, they decided they're going to go to the public house, public bath. And um, so when they went to the first room, where do you get the, your clothes on and put on the lungi? <laughs> Haji Aga Muhammad al Aghaban Yazdi took out his clothes and Abdul Baha looked at him and he smiled. And Haji Aga Muhammad said, Oh, yes, my, my Lord, oh, yes, my Lord, I know, I know. My body is so full of hair because you didn't create a human being, my Lord, you created a monkey. And Abdul Baha laughed and laughed and laughed. They both laughed. And um, this brought joy to the heart of Abdul Baha and Haji Muhammad was beside himself when of course the news got to the friends and everybody rejoiced. And to me, that is one of the aspects of having a covenant with our Lord, with Baha'u'llah, with Abdul Baha, with the faith and putting it into action by caring, loving, when being worthy of each other's trust and maybe putting it in the action by asking ourselves, do we know anyone whose heart is broken and might need our attention and our call and our care and our consultation and we can bring joy to their heart. That would be to me a wonderful expression of the day of the covenant. I hope all of you have a happy heart and can recall wonderful memories of your being a Baha'i and having held to the court of the covenant. Love you all. And my rooster is joining me.